All right, perfect. Oh, and you know what, by the way? I think this is a great thing that they added, this uh, show or hide camera mask. Because I, I was, I'm constantly doing that in, in Flash. We're, I'm making one of those, making this little mat to put around the stage. Uh, so, you know, you don't have to look at these, you know, ugly parts that just kind of cut off here like that. So actually, let's leave that turned on. Okay, uh, save it out if you haven't already, and uh, here is where uh, the fun begins. What we have right now is uh, just kind of one drawing. In fact, I guess you get some indication of that right here, drawing underscore one dot dash one. And what we're going to do is extend out the timeline here and animate this guy. We'll go 40 frames out this way. Uh, I'm going to hit F5. Um, oops. And there we go. Just select that one frame. You don't actually have to select them all. So I've got uh, uh, you know more more uh, frames on the timeline here to scrub through. And actually, you know, uh, I should point out that uh, the entire length of my animation right now is only these uh, 60 frames. If I wanted to extend it out even further, what I could do is just you know move this marker out this way. But uh, let's just say we're only going to use 40 frames. So what I'll do actually is uh, move that right to the edge of 40. That way, when I uh, render this guy out, I'll only end up creating uh, 40 frames for it. And uh, now let's put in a keyframe. So I'm going to right click, go over here to insert keyframe. By the way, the hotkey for this is uh, F6, uh, same as it was in Flash. And let's hit the same key over this way. All right. And what we're going to do is um, be sure that this animate button is on. And let's see, I got to almost remind myself here. And this time we're going to grab the transform tool. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. And now uh, everything kind of turns in, into pink mode here, all right? Uh, but there's a good reason for that, and, and it's giving you this indication that, hey, you know what? <laughs> you're animating now. You're, it, you're definitely in animation mode because things have gone pink. Uh, if, you know, you're back over here in, uh, let's take that off for a second, just selecting things, okay? So it's, you know, not to be confused with this whole deal here, all right? So come back over to this. All right, clear indication you're animating. So I'm going to move uh, just this entire drawing over here slightly to the right. And uh, now you should be able to see when you uh, scrub through here, just a standard kind of uh, motion tween uh, is going on. All right. In fact, you know what you could do? You could even dip it down a little bit here, and it gives you a nice little uh, kind of bezier curve for, for doing that. So it doesn't go directly to that middle keyframe and then directly this way, you know. It's more of a smooth curve like that by default versus you know, straight from point A to point B. Um, now, you might be thinking, oh, man, you kind of screwed up because now you've animated you know, the mouth and this bottom part of the, the eye in there, and it's in three of these keyframes. Now you got to go to each of those three keyframes and delete that out. Now, no, that's actually not the case. And uh, you can see that uh, if I were to delete this out, that deletion uh, occurs on all three of those frames like that. Okay, That's important to note. Now uh, check this out. I, might, I just uh, undid that and uh, put it back over here. What I'm going to do is go and jump over here to uh, frame one and I'm going to, uh, I guess I'll just select everything and then uh, go over here to drawing and duplicate drawings. All right, um, nothing major happens. <laughs> you might not even notice anything has happened here, but uh, I now have uh, an extra drawing substitution over here in this uh, kind of subsection of the uh, this uh, library uh, panel. Okay, if I were to go from one to two now, you're not going to see any difference between because you know between these two uh, poses there is no difference right now. But I can at this point now. Uh, delete out this and this, and you can see that this is now solo and separated from those guys. So that's um, two totally uh, unique drawings here, but you're not filling up your your library with uh, different symbols for these guys. In fact, if I were to un, you know unfold that, there are no other symbols in this uh, document at the moment. Okay. Uh, now, how's that apply to uh, the motion tween here? You can see actually that um, my motion tween uh, sequence has both of those uh, drawing substitutions in there. Okay, so it it now ends with uh, that one that we started with. Okay, 
and it begins with this guy. Now I could go in the middle of these two keyframes and then jump back over here to two. All right, and then come over here, move the slide this back to one. And uh, the only indication timeline wise that, that you're making any difference here is that you get these uh, subtle little dividers, okay? But of course you can see up here what's going on. So uh, let's do this. Let's uh, now change uh, this drawing to something other than just this floating mouth over here to the side. And what we'll do is, uh, let's delete this off. We'll just move this over here. And oh, you know what I do need to do there is, well, I still got that selected, bring this forward. There we go. Move that up slightly. Uh, I guess we'll just put this over here. Copying and pasting that. I can't promise I'm going to be doing my best animation in this lesson. In fact, I can promise that I won't be. How about that? Okay. Uh, so, let's just scoot through here again. Yeah. All right. So he just kind of blinks there and closes his mouth at that time. Now, Think about how useful this would be if um, you, you, you had tons and tons of poses here, okay? You can easily go and swap out all these many uh, substitutions that you have, and you're not altering um, your motion tween, okay? So I can still go over here and, um, you know, move this guy up here again, and, you know, it's not messing with anything I've done um, in this little arena. In fact, you know what I can do too is I can actually slide. Uh, let me turn this off. I can slide these guys around. And again, it's still not going to mess with uh, any of those substitutions in there. Uh, for the heck of it, let's just go over here and make a do a different one. Let's go and right click, drawing tool. Actually, come over here to duplicate drawing. We'll do a third one in here. Just to pile things up even more. So go over here to my selection arrow. Let's make him pop his eyes up. That nose doesn't have a a fill in there, so it's kind of hard to select that guy. Let's actually make this a little bit. There we go. Uh, as he's kind of sliding off here to the right, he's also looking down a little bit. And on this frame, you know, we could also rotate it as well. And then maybe on this frame, go and uh, do a drawing substitution again. Let me go back over to this. What's exciting for me is that uh, when I was working in Flash, I kind of was always kind of trying to do something like this, but you'd have to cheat it in the sense that you're always um, swapping out one symbol for another. So, uh, you know, you'd have to kind of like right click within the, uh, the movie clip and, and uh, go to swap symbol, uh, find it in the library. And uh, so this has been 